Hey guys, I'm Rival. Welcome back to the channel. Here today, it is Monday, and every single Monday, we get a couple new things in my faction. One of them being daily login rewards. And the daily login rewards looking pretty good. The most asked question here on the channel. How do you get more faction war tickets? Here you go. By logging in this week, you will get a total of three. Make sure to log in on Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday especially. That is when you get the tickets. Now, the most important thing here, the Faction War tickets, but if you log in five of these seven days, you do get that Superstar Series 1 pack. Also, every single Monday, we do get a new weekly tower. This week, we get week five. Now, you do have to do these in order. Try and keep up with it. Now, if you get the game late and it's already on week 20, well, you got to start at week one. So, try and keep up with it. Uh, for week five, we get a 79 overall Sapphire carry on cross. It is a free agent card. Contracts gone in my faction this year, but we do have these free agent cards kind of like a loan card. You do the three matches, they're gone. We click inside of week five, a little LWO action inside of here. We have Joaquin, we have Zelina, we have Santos Escobar, we have Dirty Dominic Mysterio, and Rey Mysterio. All one-on-one -on -one matches, different match types, extreme rules here, steel cage here. The rest of them just normal one-on-ones. And also for the match objectives, make sure you pay attention to this, whether it be live events or weekly towers. This one you need 60, you need 30 for this one. It's in the upper right hand corner once you start the match. We go to live events. So we had a weekly tower added. We get the daily login rewards. We also have some live events to take a look at. This one went live today. You get 2,000 my faction points for this, a two on two match, a one and done. You get that done, you get the 2,000 MFP. Then we go to the upcoming tab. We do have an Omos in here, an Emerald 72. Overall, we go down this one added, Triple Threat Madness. You do this, you get a 78 Sapphire Charlotte Flair. And this Charlotte Flair, not too bad, guys. We take a look at the badges. A level 2 on Space Invader increases the power of your submissions. A level 2 badge on the Endurance and a level 2 on Sting Like a Bee. Love Sting Like a Bee. And the attributes looking as so here. We go down to Clash in the Kingdom. This one does have an Apex tier reward, meaning... You can click square on that, and there's other rewards tied behind it. So this one, you could do it up to four times, right? I'm going to do it all four times because I want all the rewards, but you might not see that Apex tier reward until that fourth attempt. Now, once you're inside the match, you do have to win the match and get the My Faction points. That's going to be in the upper right-hand corner. Sometimes it's only 30, sometimes it's 60, sometimes it's 90. You have to get the My Faction points and win to get these rewards. We go to customization. I've been getting asked a lot how I got this. I got this inside of a pack. I know it's freaking totally awesome. It's probably the best wallpaper I've seen. I got really lucky in a pack. It popped up. That is how I got the Lily faction wallpaper but that's not what i'm going to show you i am going to show you this Seamus. this Seamus is incredible he's got a level four which is the top level you can have for a badge for heavy handed going in hot pain train and then a level two on sting like a bee and a level one on rage this card's incredible i just got in sapphire for rain play so now i'm going to be using Seamus to try and get into ruby let's go but the rest of the faction looking as though Mike Maestro The Rock, we got John Cena 2020, 1997 Stone Cold. And then down here, Bailey. This Bailey is excellent. So is this Trish out of that new pack, that Heat pack. Showcase rewards of Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley. And for that collector's level, I am 80 away for my next card. But side plates, 3,000 MFP along the way. This Gunther looks amazing. Look at that. Sting like it be merciless opportunist. Level 1, level 2 on that. And then a level 4 on swiftness. In it together and raring to go. I think that Seamus might be better. He's got heavy handed. And something to show you before I leave the video. I've shown you in a previous video. I've shown you on the live stream. But since we're talking faction war tickets, there is... A couple of them inside of collections, only two of them, but this one right here, 7 out of 10. I would need these three silvers to complete my collection, and I would get a faction or ticket. The one that is really worth it is down here. You only need five of them, and they're bronze cards. They go for about 880, 890 each. You can just buy them in the card market, get that faction or ticket if you want. If you think it's worth it, it's there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Probably a pretty quick one, but it's one I make every single Monday because the new weekly tower, the new login rewards, and the new live events that do get placed in. So I make this every single Monday. To end the video, I'm looking at this heat pack. 
There's two cards I don't have. I would love that Roman. I don't have Baron Corbin, and I do not have Dirty Dominic Mysterio. So I'm going to go ahead and open this and hope for the best. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that thumbs up to put me over. Drop a comment below. Subscribe if you are new. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one after this ruby pool, all right? After the ruby pops up in my pack. That is false. How about an emerald, Baron Corbin? Okay. Peace out, guys.